Dolphins are mammals. They feed their babies with milk. They live in the sea, but they can't breathe underwater. So they have to come up for every 15 minutes. Dolphins can live in either fresh or salt water. They gather in social groups and they often hunt together. These groups consist of five dolphins up to several hundred. Dolphins are considered to be the world's most intelligent animals. They have bigger brains than humans. Dolphins are very sociable and have their own ways to communicate with each other using special sounds. They also use these sounds to call each other when they are in trouble. Dolphins are playful and friendly to humans. They like to jump and do acrobatic movements in the air. Dolphins are different in colors. They are generally gray, but their backs are darker. Dolphins are mammals. They feed their babies with milk. They live in the sea, but they can't breathe underwater. So, they have to come up for every 15 minutes. Dolphins can live in either fresh or salt water. They gather in social groups and they often hunt together. These groups consist of five dolphins up to several hundred. Dolphins are considered to be the world's most intelligent animals. They have bigger brains than humans. Dolphins are very sociable and have their own ways to communicate with each other using special sounds. They also use these sounds to call each other when they are in trouble. Dolphins are playful and friendly to humans. They like to jump and do acrobatic movements in the air. Dolphins are different in colors. They are generally gray, but their backs are darker. Luciano Pavarotti was from Italy. He was a very famous opera singer of the 20th century. At first, Luciano wanted to be a football player and a singer. As a young boy, he listened to famous singers on the radio and attended the city's chorus. He later said that this was the most important experience in his life and inspired him to be a professional singer. But when he grew up, he worked as a teacher. He had singing lessons when he wasn't at school. Painting was one of Pavarotti's favorite hobbies. He exhibited a collection of his own works in New York. He had great successes in painting and opera. In 1963, he sang in London Opera House because another actor was ill. Soon he became popular and began to give television performances. He started his own singing competitions in Philadelphia. He sang before the Football World Cup in Italy. Millions of people watched his concerts on TV and then bought his CDs. People still listen to his CDs and love his beautiful singing. Luciano Pavarotti was from Italy. He was a very famous opera singer of the 20th century. At first, Luciano wanted to be a football player and a singer. As a young boy, he listened to famous singers on the radio and attended the city's chorus. He later said that this was the most important experience in his life and inspired him to be a professional singer. But when he grew up, he worked as a teacher. He had singing lessons when he wasn't at school. Painting was one of Pavarotti's favorite hobbies. He exhibited a collection of his own works in New York. He had great successes in painting and opera. In 1963, he sang in London Opera House because another actor was ill. Soon he became popular 
and began to give television performances. He started his own singing competitions in Philadelphia. He sang before the Football World Cup in Italy. Millions of people watched his concerts on TV and then bought his CDs. People still listen to his CDs and love his beautiful singing. The London Eye, the tallest observation wheel in Europe, was opened on December 31, 1999. Since then, it has been a great tourist attraction and more than 3 million people visit it every year. This landmark is situated on the south bank of the River Thames, in the very heart of London. It gives the passengers the opportunity to get a fascinating view over London. They can see many famous landmarks like Buckingham Palace, St. Paul's Cathedral and the Houses of Parliament. The London Eye was designed by two architects, David Marks and Julie Barfield, husband and wife. They took part in a competition for the best landmark project and suggested the idea of a large observation wheel. This observation wheel is perfect for families with children. The slow motion allows passengers to walk in and out of the wheel at ground level. Even elderly tourists find the wheel comfortable. Every coming New Year is marked by a 10-minute firework show at the London Eye. The growing popularity of the London Eye makes tourists wait for a long time to get tickets. The London Eye the tallest observation wheel in Europe was opened on December 31, 1999. Since then, it has been a great tourist attraction and more than 3 million people visit it every year. This landmark is situated on the south bank of the River Thames, in the very heart of London. It gives the passengers the opportunity to get a fascinating view over London. They can see many famous landmarks like Buckingham Palace, St. Paul's Cathedral and the Houses of Parliament. The London Eye was designed by two architects, David Marks and Julie Barfield, husband and wife. They took part in a competition for the best landmark project and suggested the idea of a large observation wheel. This observation wheel is perfect for families with children. The slow motion allows passengers to walk in and out of the wheel at ground level. Even elderly tourists find the wheel comfortable. Every coming New Year is marked by a 10-minute firework show at the London Eye. The growing popularity of the London Eye makes tourists wait for a long time to get tickets.